Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues. Uh, I believe this is going to be episode 5, and my name is the Minor Fellowship. Um, okay, so if you guys remember last time, uh, we finished conquering the uh, Rib Breakers. Um, we doubled, or we grew substantially through the last episodes. Um, unfortunately, this episode, or well, not unfortunately, but this episode, we are going to be going uh, and building up our strength. Um, because, of course, as the game gets later on, we are going to have to worry about people coming after us. Um, and so, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and click play, uh, and we will keep going and start off. All right, so the last focus we chose was drinking the marrow. Uh, we wanted to get all the core states from the marrow drinkers, which will increase our population, give us factories, that kind of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So for in terms of, okay, so for this episode, like I said, we're going to be building up. Uh, we're going to be taking focuses that are going to give us military factories, civilian factories, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, of course, because all the stuff that we have available right now is, you know, uh, core states, you know, infrastructure, that kind of stuff, uh, military factories. And then, of course, when we get down here, it's going to be more military factories. We're going to be able to get rid of one of our debuffs, Warband Without a Home. We're going to get some more support stability. Uh, and then all this stuff is kind of just to help our divisions, really. And so, yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's see. So we have researching here. This one's going to be done, the dynamite, which is going to be huge. We're going to put it into our divisions, and it's going to be awesome. Um, okay, and then political power, we do need to figure out exactly what we're doing here. Uh, we do have tons of it, and we really have nothing to spend it on. It wouldn't hurt to just get a random guy, because you know, just because we can. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and get him, just because. The slaving bastard. Alright, so the dynamite is finally done. Perfect. Uh, let's see. We might as well just keep doing support companies for now. Uh, the floater, which is the super mutant equivalent to a dog in this mod. Uh, we are... You know, we could... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get that going. Um, the more support companies, the better, obviously. Uh, we want to deck our units out completely. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, Bone Dancers offer a treaty. The Bone Dancers have offered us a rather lucrative treaty. If we were to promise not to invade them, then they are willing to give us a rather large amount of caps, resources, and manpower to compensate us. Uh, this is a great deal, and it would be silly not to accept. All right, what do we get? Um, the accept. This is a lucrative deal, but if we accept, we will bypass our war focuses against Bone Dancers. Um, if we accept the Warren, we add state population something. Uh, we get 16 metal and six military factory and six civilian factories. That's pretty decent. And then if we refuse, they just refuse. Um, and that will bypass our focuses right here. Um, the six factories for each sound really, really, really good. Um, but the only problem is that we are going to lose out, obviously, on conquering them for now. Um, all right, we're going to take the deal. I don't, it didn't say anything about a non-aggression pact, so I'm assuming we can still justify a wargle on them, which, I mean, if I can just justify, that is completely fine with me. Alright, we're going to do expanding the warden, we're just going to get our debuff gone. So let's see, oh, and then here come the factories, yay. So, so you know, we, there's factories we never had, we're going to go ahead and put into dynamite, let's start producing that, and let's start equipping our units with it. As for now, in terms of division and template, they're at 20 widths. Um, there's really not much I can add except for if I just want to keep going with more and more and more and more and more and more super mutants. And, you know, we can get, probably get to 40 widths. At least right now we can. Um, I don't really think that'd be necessarily beneficial to us at this moment. Uh, we're going to increase our uh, unit count, actually, just for now. We do have the manpower. We do have the guns right now. We might as well. Um pump out more units. 
make ourselves super strong. Uh, let's see. So, alright, we can go take a look around the world and see exactly what's going on. Um, Caesar's Legion, not in any wars right now, surprisingly. But Lanus' cohort is against the Twin Mothers. Maxon Expedition. That's weird. Uh, I don't think that has to do with Elder Maxon from Fallout 4. But that would be pretty cool if it did. Uh, Alright, so our, fin our research slot's done. Uh, that was the Resistor. Uh, let's see, what else do we got that we can take right now? We might just want to keep going down that one path, unless we want to go ahead and just get the weaponry. Because honestly, guns are better. They just cost more to make, I believe. Actually, they cost the same. So what is the difference? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but... Okay, this gives us more breakthrough. It also gives us air attack. Uh, we honestly are probably better off just biting the bullet and going basic weaponry. And getting guns. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and research the guns, because why not? Let's upgrade, let's make our units soft attack strong, let's make our units actually win battles. And, you know, not to say they haven't won battles yet. However, we want to keep in mind that we do have strong enemies near us. Especially Washington Brotherhood. They are the scariest one right now. The Bone Dancers, I think we still have a chance. I mean, they are taking another nation. Oh! Oh, I guess that treaty did give us an Underwater Pact. Oh, that's not cool. Like, at all. We have to wait till December, or the uh, next year in September. Oh, God, that's awful. Okay, well... It looks like our choice was made for us. It looks like we're going to be going up against probably the Meyer Lurk tribe next. Or, I mean, who knows? The Washington Brotherhood might come for us. I think they had to have a focus to actually come after us. Let's see. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, right there. Hunting the first. Okay, right, so they can't attack us until next year anyway. Um, let's see. Eradicate the mutants. Non -co oh. If they ever border us and grow stronger... In our military capacity, dangerous levels, they unlock a series of corresponding hostile decisions to slowly or to slow them down, and then they get a war goal on us. Oh man! So okay, so they can, they can eventually, f definitely fight us. We got another unit, perfect. And our focus was done. We got rid of our debuff. We don't. I don't know if we want to take this one. Um, it's gonna bypass this. Which, I don't know if that's a good idea. Because we, we can't go down this until... Um, yeah, we definitely can't do this until we take over them somehow, way, shape, or form. So we might as well just kind of wait for that. Uh, we're going to do the go ahead and do ready for war. Let's get our war support. I mean, our warp support's already 100%. Dang. Okay, well, let's just uh, get our military factories from that. Some army XP, why not? Alright, our land doctrine just finished, so we're going to go ahead and just do the next one. Oh, this too. Uh, let's see. This gives us more HP and less attrition. This gives us initiative and organization. I do believe the dynamite t gives us a hit to our organization. I think that would be a good counteractive to it. But... HP. We haven't really had attrition problems just yet. So, I mean, this might be a dumb decision. 
but I'm going to go ahead and do the early tactical lessons and just go ahead and get our organization up. And while that is going, I'm going to see about putting dynamite into our divisions. Alright, I'm going to wait till we get a surplus of it at least so that we're not suffering afterwards. Yeah, but I do want to put the demolitions into my regular super mutants and my behemoths, obviously. We do have two super more, two more super mutant behemoths training up, and we do have three uh, super mutants training up. <clears throat> Alright, we might as well explore this focus tree while we're waiting here. Um, Alright, so that, that's the one we want to go down. And since the Myrlux have already taken over the Apostles, um, we could do two for one at that. And then we eventually get down to this. Oh, we have to make a decision there. So many wars. Okay, stop. Uh, Royo Klamath. Or we go for the Washington Brotherhood. Oh wow, that gives us all of the claims up here. Oh wait, who does it give us claims against? Oh, I see. Wait, actually I don't see. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, I don't think we should necessarily worry about that until we get down to that focus tree. But... Man, Arroyo is surrounded on all fronts. I think they'll be fine, though. I don't think I've ever seen them have a problem. But then again, you know. I haven't really been paying attention to other wars as much as I maybe should have. Um, let's see what we can do. We can give ourselves a buff. We can rebuild the Skull Fortress. You know, we might as well just go ahead and go rebuilding Skull Fortress. Let's get ourselves some more military factories. Uh, we'll put one to support equipment just to make it kind of an even line. Let's see, how much uh, dynamite we got? I think we need a little bit more. Yeah, we do need a bit more. Alright, that's about to be done, so we'll go ahead and queue up some more civ factories. Actually, you know what? We'll leave that at two civilian factories, and then we'll just pump out a bunch of military factories. Now, my only thing is... I'm, Outposts aren't that great. I mean, they're like forts, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think they're gonna attack us that early. So therefore, I don't really see a point. And we do have a military factory to spare. We're just gonna go ahead and throw it on dynamite. We need to build more dynamite if we ever want them in our actual units. Man, that's taking a long time to go away. Oh, there he goes. Alright, let's see. Basic weaponry, alright. And then... Alright, we'll, we'll probably stay away from that for now. Can't do any robotics, can't do anything like that. That'd be crazy. We can do. Let's do smoke signals. Let's get our uh, reinforce rate up and everything. All right, basically a weapon. Let's go for the basic weaponry. Let's get our men some guns. Ooh, excuse me. Right. I would like to see what their divisions are looking like, honestly. The fall of Diana. The twin mothers have fallen. Man. 
So I guess we're all kind of, I have to kind of wait for everything to kind of kick off in a way. Alright, let's see. What are the, do the fo bone dancers actually have a focus tree? Oh, they do. Act they actually do. Our focus is done. I wanted to see if they actually... I wanted to see if they actually... Uh... Oh, they actually do get a thing for us. But I wanted to see if they got if they actually had a focus tree to do that to send me a peace tree kind of thing, or if they just did that on their own. Because if they did it on their own, that's kind of interesting. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go with tribal encampments. Let's get our three civilian factories. <clears throat> I mean, the good news is for right now, our our industry is not that big, but we don't have to necessarily worry about circuitry because you know we don't have any electronics. You know, we're not going to have robots or anything like that. Uh, we might need advanced components. I don't think we're necessarily going to need it. <laughs> the troll warrants seem like a very um, basic group of people. You know, they're very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Nomadic, I guess you could say. We don't. I don't think we're going to need anti-tank rifles. But then again... The power armor, that might be a good counter against the power armor. That might be good to have in the divisions. I don't think we're going to take it on a support company right now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to worry about any of that right now. Alright, what can we worry about? What can we put? What can we start working on? I don't want to... I, mm. We could probably... Oh, okay, let's do that. Let's do the uh, factory output, dockyard output. And let's see what's going on. You can probably unpause. Sorry, guys. The MacArthur Detachment. Clear one, the Yellowstone part. Not the Yellowstone! Where is it? <laughs> The Nevada Free States, that's not them. Oh, it looks like New California Republic's taking Baja California soon. They're taking the rapids. Alright. The last patrol. Sorry, I'm I'm finding random things and I'm I'm looking at them and stuff. It's just kinda interesting what's going on. I think we'll have enough uh, demolition to put into our units, so let's put them in, obviously, to the super mutants first, and then we'll figure out what happens. Alright, we'll have enough to fit all of our units with the demolition. Are we building the dogs? We do need to build the dogs, though. We'll cut back to that many on the basic weaponry. We can probably cut back one on the... On the uh, Demolition the dynamites, and we'll start building dogs. We can probably cut back on the behemoths. I'm trying to balance it out so that we can at least fit them with the support companies first and build a little bit of um, efficiency in terms of, uh, you know, the production and, you know, keeping our units strong. Alright, our focus is almost done. There we go. So we are going to do, we'll do From the Ruins, I guess, yeah, we'll do that. Because it gives us a event, a gift of iron, it's, um, and it's because, the, oh, well no, it says that the first has a cult of personality, which he does, because we chose the first for that, that main part. Um, we get a 50% research bonus for industry technology, which, that's great. I really don't want to go down this part. Until we, um, we are uh, non aggression pact is gone. All right, we have some units that are done. Let's see. 
Awesome. They're done. Our behemoths are going to be done any second. There they are. The big mamma jammas. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's see. How much would it take to put the behemoths with this, the demolition? Oh, we have enough. Alright, we're going to fit them with the demolition now. So the next thing we're going to do, obviously, is the um, the dogs into our divisions. Okay, let's see. If we add the dogs, everything goes up except for piercing. Piercing goes down by 0.1, which I'm not really concerned about that. And then, you know, wait. Oh, I guess our organization goes down by 1. Recovery rate's not that affected. I think it's kind of worth the, the trade-off, to be honest. To get that extra, the extra oomph in terms of us fighting, um, for just that little tiny debuff of a, you know, support company or stats. Okay, let's see. So our focus trees or this focus is almost done. We're probably gonna go ahead and go with call of the first next. Oh, okay, we have an event. We're gonna set that aside for a second. The call of the first. Alright, Gift of Iron. Strangely enough, after the first ordered mutants to scavenge the old roads near William met in search of materials, he found himself met with a surprise, generosity. Out of loyalty to the first, several mutants, rather than park pocketing the medals for their own use, instead gave their finds to the first personally. This gave the first an idea. If they were to have all mutants give the Warren medals, they would have enough material to build whatever he wished. Proclaim the iron tax. Max factories in the state, awesome. Construction speed, perfect. Alright, so we're taxing their iron. No one gets the iron but the first. The first super mutant. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, we do need to start planning for the Boston Brotherhood coming for us at some point. Let's see. Maybe they aren't able to, oh, I guess they are able to do it, but they haven't done it yet, so I'm not complaining. Um, the longer we can stall these people up in the front, in the in the north, just kind of keep them at bay, the better. I do want to take out the Myrler tribe, hopefully, and maybe the Bone Dancers before they come after us. Um, that would be honestly ideal. Alright, so that, so that should be done. We have more training. How much would it take to fit our people with dogs? Probably a lot. Yeah, we don't got enough right now. But the super the behemoths might be able to have dogs. Yep, we can have dogs in the behemoths. Alright, we're gonna put dogs in them. Awesome. Alright. Oh, they're lining up my border. Oh, they just did the focus eradicate the mutants. Okay, so that means they're going to be coming soon. Well, who knows? Maybe we have to get. Maybe they're just so strong that us building up will not um, uh, not trigger their decisions to declare a war on us just yet. I mean, who knows, though? I I really don't know about this game in terms of what's considered me being in a good military standpoint. Um, But yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. We just started our focus called Call of the First. We're going to get our Bane of Man upgraded. Uh, the Washington Brotherhood is coming for us, whether we like it or not. Uh, we got all those factories from the Bone Dancers. We are building up our units. We are getting support companies. We're getting more factories. We are building a better tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. I mean, hopefully in the next episode, uh, the Washington Brotherhood will not attack us. Um, we'll build up a little bit more. Maybe we'll be able to fight the Merlurks next episode. Um, only time will tell. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy the content. Um, it really means a lot to me. Uh, comment if you guys want me to, to play anything else, if you guys want me to, if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that. Um, anyway, 
In other words, I will see you guys all next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace!